Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise is on it. Did I cut it off? <laughs> Running into some technical difficulties trying to get all these this TV it this this doesn't run fast <laughs> and stuff. So uh, like I say I want to welcome you to Measure Faith Worship Center here in USA. Measure Faith Worship Center as well as as we're, as we're co-partners with, with Measure Faith in India, uh, Worship Center Churches in India. This is Pastor Babu Magapu, him and his wonderful family there. They're co-pastors with us over there in India in this great time that India is going through with, with their pandemic. The pandemic, this, this COVID-19 has really been rapid over there. The church needs your prayers. This church needs your prayers. His family needs your prayers. The people of India need your prayers. And that's what we're about here today, is a, a helping us to believe for these people. We're here to believe for each other. We're here to believe that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him and are doing His will and His purposes. It's, it's, it's lifting each other up, edifying each other, building up in the body of Christ. And that's what we're about, helping to build up the body of Christ. This is, this is a very important part of the body of Christ. They're the second largest nation in the world. There's a lot, so many souls are being won over there in this country and this nation. And, and as well as when we reach out to these other nations, God will do great things for this nation, just like He does for the nation of Israel, just like He does for all of the nations that, that call upon Him and worship Him in true holiness and, and, and with a heart, hungry heart and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and ears to hear what His Spirit has to say. And today, it's just about today, is uh, uh, like I say, uh, we'll try to make this short and, and stuff so so I'll be able to put it on YouTube and stuff. But like I say, you know, God bless you and I thank you for being here, being part of this ministry. And there's other many ministers that I know of and I, I appreciate them and, and, and love them. And I, I, I just ain't got time in a, in a, in a video to, to announce all of them. But one great friend is, and, 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 and one that helps me during the week is, is, is Maurice Mayo, a great friend and, 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 and a great person in the Word and, and stuff. And uh, bless him, bless his family, the Mayo family, and bless him and his wife and, and their church as they as they work uh, the ministry during the week and, and, and great helps. They're great helps and the great witnesses before uh, uh, for the things of God. And like, you know, uh, we're going to uh, start today uh, with, with uh, uh, Jesus said, now believe it. Jesus said, now believe it. That's what the, the, the uh, title is, has come to me. Jesus said, now believe it. Jesus said, now believe it. And that's what you can believe it. Because we, last week we went on, went into a lesson about the true wisdom heaven sent. And that's what he was. He was the true wisdom. He was he was the God, the true God in the flesh. And he came and he dwelt among men. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm in a little room here, but it's a little warm and I got a fan though. And stuff, and if I, if I sniffle a little bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, you know, it's just little things like that to try to try to uh, try to stop the word, but the word is gonna come out and stuff. But like I said, Jesus said, "Now believe it." Jesus said, "Now believe it." That's what was wrong with the with the people at, during that time, the, the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees and all that. They could, when Jesus said something, they they questioned when he said it. He said it so you could have believed. It was about them learning how to believe. He was teaching them the, the greatest lesson, the key to the understanding the Bible is believing. We have to believe. If we can't believe, we, even if we don't believe in our own self, we, 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 start, we start deteriorating immediately. You know, when you don't believe in something, 
or you don't believe in your own self, you know, but you can't believe that you you, you acquire everything through yourself. We all, all things come from heaven above, and we get all, all all our wisdom, just like we said, the true wisdom was sent from my, was heaven sent. And so now today, Jesus said, now believe it. Now believe it and stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, got to get a Bible. I always go through this a few minutes and stuff to so, so, so tag this on. Get a Bible. Get you a Bible app if you can't get a hardback Bible. If you don't know where to get a hardback Bible, you Walmarts, everywhere in the world, especially in the United States. You go to Walmart and go to their book nook and get a Bible. Or you can get a Bible online. You go to ChristianBook.com. They'll send you a nice catalog with many resources and different Bibles in there. And you can get those Bibles very inexpensive. I just bought Pastor um, Megapool's study Bible because he had great Bible, but he didn't have a study Bible. Make sure you get one that's got great study study notes in it, a great uh, uh, index, a great uh, a great concordance, and a great glossary. All the great things that can be in a Bible, they have them in these Bibles, these study Bibles. And, and, uh, and allow the Spirit of God to help walk you through the Bible and give you the understanding that you need. Because Jesus said, now believe it. Now believe it. He didn't want you to wait till He comes to believe. He's wanting you to believe now. And that's what it's about, believing it now. By believing it now, you can have healing in your body. You can have healing in your finances. You can be saved and set free from the from the sins of this world, and that's what it's about: being set free, being loose from those sins that bind your your life. You say, "Well, I'm not. I don't do nothing. That's, uh, I'm a good person. You be, you be a good person, but you're." It says we've all sinned and come uh, come short of God's glory and stuff. Even in the Bible days, they didn't think the, the Pharisees and, the, and Sadducees they didn't believe they did nothing wrong. They believe they were more holier than anyone. <laughs> and so don't believe that you're that holy today, not knowing Him. Because you've got to know Him to be holy. You've got to be let Him become part of you and be in you to come to that righteousness. To, to know His righteousness. To be filled with His righteousness. And that's what it's about. Jesus said, now believe it. Now believe it. And so, and so we're going to... Um, Stop with the accolades and get to, straight to the message here. And I'm gonna, we're going to start out, and we're going to start out in, in, in Matthew, the, the ninth chapter of the book of Matthew, which is the first of the four Gospels, uh, the, uh, the New Testament. And we're going to start in uh, verse uh, chapter 9, and we're going to read a few verses here in chapter 9. We're going to start at verse 29 of, of, verse, of, of chapter 9 of Matthew. And verse 29 says, Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, believe, be it unto you, or believe it. According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Because at the time he was, he was doing these miracles in the the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they were running around trying to bring an, uh, an accusation against him uh, 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 to, to, so they could bring him before Pilate. And, but they that, uh, when they were departed, spread abroad his faith because they got big mouths. They, even though he told them, he, uh, Jesus said, now believe it according to their faith. But they went out and said and told everyone anyway because they if you receive something from God, you will want to tell everyone. The same with your salvation, which we will talk about at the end of this message. You receive it, you will want to tell someone. Because it's just being in you, Him being in you and His Spirit, uh, uh, saving your, your spirit and, and filling you. You will want to tell someone. And verse uh, 31 says, But... Uh, they, when they were uh, departed, spread abroad his fame into all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was, it was never so seen in Israel. 
But the Pharisees said, He casts out devils through the prince of the of devils. And Jesus went <coughs> excuse me, went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all sicknesses and every diseases among the people. And that's what it's about. Jesus said, now believe it. And that's what we have to believe for this pastor's uh, uh, nation. We have to believe for his nation that, that the coronavirus, uh, we can bind it together with, with cords that's unbroken as we bind it in faith, believing that God will heal this nation. He says, if my people will hunger and cry out for, 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 for him, he will, he will heal their land. And you can go in that and find that as uh, in the Bible as well and, 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 and pull that up and stuff. And you have Google, you can Google it, all of this as you will. And you can put your Bible app on your phone so you can have it. And it says, uh, every disease among the people, and er, uh, if you, you know, in debt, you're, that's a disease itself. <laughs> You know, if your finances is hurting today, you can help your finances. This ain't a message on finances, but this believing can is the key to, to understanding how to find that help you need for whatever you need. For whatever you need. He, Jesus said, now believe it. Jesus said, now believe it. And, uh, that's where I left off that. Like I said, that was Matthew 9. 29 through 35. And now we're going to go over real quick to John, the, uh, the book of John, the last of the four Gospels. We have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we're going to go over to John, and we're going to go over to the first, we're going over to the first chapter of John. We're going to start at verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. And there we go, about believing. That believe on His name. That name that's above all names. That name that, 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 that brings healing. That name that brings deliverance. That, that name that, 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 that's above all names. That gives you that authority over these devils. Like it's, he was telling them back in that other chapter over all diseases, over all devils, over all principalities and powers that, that come against you and is coming against he that is in you. And that he that is in you is greater than he that is in this world. And that's what it talks about. And so we're going to start there. Verse 13 says, Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. But the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. And the glory was of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And John bare witness of Him, and cried, saying, This was He of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for He was before me. And this was talking about John the Baptist was telling him, said, said this, said this. And, and of His fullness have all we received in grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And that's what we talked about last week. The true wisdom, heaven sent. Came by Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, now believe it. Now believe it. Jesus said, now believe it. And we're going to go to uh, Acts 16, and we're going to finish out with these scriptures here because I want to give a little sinner's prayer and close this out. And, and, and I appreciate you coming here and being here on this video and stuff. And, and like I said, I'm trying to make them short so I can put them on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. And we do that as well as this pastor. He puts his message on there. And I usually am on YouTube, I'll put his, his message in the description so you can pull up his message in English that he, he puts there on English and you can hear this pastor and his cries and his pleas and, 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 and the great messages that God gives him as well. And you can pull these up and, and, and other things on there as well as a, 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 a description on how to get others saved and how to, how to get saved. 
and stuff. And, and now we're going to go over to uh, Acts, the 16th chapter, and that's, that's after John and, and stuff. And, 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 and you go after John, you go after the book of, book of John, and then go, go to Acts. And this is the Acts of the Apostles. And this is what what what, what uh, the Spirit was was able to lay on their hearts and have helped them to manifest the church. This is when the church was manifested, and they would then people to each other's houses, and they didn't have a place to go. You know, they didn't have a sanctuary. They didn't have a great great comforts like we have, and nice nice comforts and stuff. They they gathered in secrecy because there's great persecution. And this is the time now uh, we have a freedom of religion where we can, and a freedom of, of worship where we can get in a place together and not be under the persecution like there's certain persecutions in certain areas of, of India and stuff where where certain religions bound uh, will, will, will persecute and have, have, have even destroyed churches and stuff. But you know, but we we can know that Jesus said now believe it and he will he will be our, our uh, healer deliverer and our our protector as this he, he talked about last week hide me and protect me that's what his message was last week and it was a great message pastor delivers great messages but like I said we're going to go over to chapter 16 of Acts and we're going to start with uh, verse 25 it's because believing in God with all his uh, with all his house, and you got to believe on and put and surround yourself with other believers, and that's what it's about. Your faith and with others and believing, because Jesus said, "Now believe it." And at midnight, Paul and Silas, these were the, Paul and, and, and his and his, uh, his apprentice uh, uh, Silas uh, prayed, and because they had been. Thrown in prison for, for teaching and, 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 and preaching the word of God, going around doing the will and purpose of God, and so they were thrown in prison. And at the midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang in praises unto God. And there's a song that that, that my uh, great song about that song as well, the midnight cry. You can pull it up on on, on, on Hill Song. Or there's other great uh, uh, singers, uh, gospel singers that sing. It's called the midnight cry about Paul and Silas. And stuff, and it says, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them because they were sitting here in prison. A lot of prisoners not singing gospel songs, <laughs> you know. So this is something different, especially in this in this day and age. And it says, suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and every uh, uh, van. Everyone's bands were, were, were loose or, or shackles or what, uh, uh, the way they was, uh, was contained in the prison were, 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 were loosed. And that's what he's wanting to do now. He's wanting to take those bands, those, those, those sinful uh, 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 shackles off of you. You may be shackled by, from, from, from the sin of lust or the sin of, sin of, uh, 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 of, of, of adultery. You might be uh, uh, have all these different things that you don't realize you're doing, but you're doing them against the, the will of God and the purpose of God, which was from the foundation of the world for us to be together with Him, be in relationship with Him, to get others in, the, in relationship with Him. Those things are all it's all part of what God's purpose is what for us on this earth. It's not for us for our for, so that we can. Uh, have the best houses, be be totally successful in ourselves, but be successful in, in knowing Him and doing His will and doing the, what Jesus has called us to do and stuff. And, and the keeper of this prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself because he thought maybe that, that they would blame him, you know. There's no one to blame but yourself. If you can't receive this today, you have to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying out of this message today. Open up your heart, receive this message, and receive it in your heart today, and receive Him. And 
uh, being possessed that the prisoners had had fled. He thought all the prisoners had got and it, it, it probably took out and left the prison and, and he would be there by himself and then when they would come they would see and, and believe that he did it or he was he fell asleep at his watch. We can't fall asleep at the watch. We gotta be watching that Christ is coming. And and believe it. Jesus said, now believe it. He said he was coming. He said he would come back. And so we have to now believe it. He said he he said he would, he would he'd never leave us nor forsake us. We have to believe it. You, you just put that with everything that, that Jesus told, promised to us. He, Jesus said it, now believe it. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. And then he called for a light and sprang in and, and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. This is the, 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 the gatekeeper. The, the, uh, uh, the prison guards and brought them out and, and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Does he know that these people, that, that, that Paul and Silas had, had, a, had a, a, a something in them that he wanted and desired and that was the true and living God, the, the true wisdom heaven sent and, 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 and all he had to do is believe it. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And thy house. That's not just you. So don't take it selfishly. Believe it, and believe it for your family. Believe it for this nation. Believe it for others. Believe it for your, for your co-workers. Believe it. Because Jesus said it now. Believe it. Now believe it. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And verse 32, And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was, and, and, and was baptized, and, and all his all his straight away, his house. They, he went in, he got saved, and then his whole house got saved, and they all was baptized. And when he... Uh, had brought them into his house, he set me before them and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. And when it was day, the master sent the uh, uh, surgeons, saying, Let's, Let us let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told his, his say, this saying to Paul, and the masters have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart and go in peace. And that's where we can go. We can go in peace of the, the, the knowing God. Jesus said, now believe it. And you can believe it today. You can believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And he, he will save you today and save your house. He will save your house. This is our spiritual house that we live in. And that's what it's kind of referring to that as well. This spiritual house, this spiritual temple that can, can abide with the Holy Spirit inside. Cleansing us, bringing Jesus so that Jesus can, can, can help uh, us lead others to hit into the kingdom. Like this, uh, we're, we're our message for as a, as a, a leading light into the nations. And this is what he's about. A leading light unto the nation. Major Faith Worship Center India. Pastor Babu Magapu. But God bless you. And I, I just like I said, this is just a little word here. I just give a little short message. I'm not trying to keep this a long message and stuff. But but it's a it's about Jesus said it, now I believe it. We can work that all day long. Because if he said it about your healing, he said it about he said it also about your finances. If he said it about your finances, he can say, say it about the, the bringing wholeness and wellness back into your family, back into your relationships, back into all that you need. But we have to believe that Jesus said it. Now you can believe it. If he said it, you can believe it. You know, you, when you were young, if your parents said it, you just believed it. You know, <laughs> it wasn't, it, it, you know, you didn't have to have somebody to to, 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 
uh, 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 question their, their understanding. You just believed it or you believed you were going to get a, a spanking for not believing it or you were going to be chastised for not believing it and stuff. And, you know, but, you know, it's, God is not, he's not uh, uh, persecuting us or bringing, bringing uh, that kind of uh, stuff to us, but he's wanting us to come to him wholeheartedly. You know, he's not forced. Our, what we believe is not forced. It's about believing it with our heart, believing it and, and because if Jesus said it, we can believe it because we have, we, we, we uh, know that he, and, and we have to admit that we're sinners and knowing that, that we can't do all this on our own and there's so, all these things that's going on in this world that, you know, we need him. That's what about the song. I, I, Jesus is all I need. Jesus is all I need. And that's what, if you, if you believe that, and that's what the whole part is now, believe it. You can say it with your lips and it can come out your mouth, but you have to believe it. Faith is believing also. You can have faith and still not believe. You can have faith but not work your faith. You have to work your faith by believing. And that's what it's about today is believing and, and knowing that He is a rewarder of those that believe and, he, and seek after Him. But like I said, we, we got I put this little description here in, in Measure Faith, Worship Center playlist, this, uh, uh, in the description of a uh, video. I put these videos on, online and stuff for everybody's uh, to be able to go back and be able to uh, uh, listen to them and, and you can forward it to the parts you need. <laughs> but we've got to know that we're sinners. Know that the Lord Jesus saved us in Romans 3 and 23. Uh, repent, be willing to turn away from sin and submit to God, Luke 13 and 5. Believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood to pay the price for our sin and he rose again on the third day. Romans 10 and 9. And then ask Jesus to save us. And you heard the man, the jailer, he come and he, he, he was humbled and humbled in his spirit. And he called on, uh, on Paul and Silas to, on, on how could he be saved. Jesus said, now believe it. that Because he, he seen this great miracle. And you don't have to have the house fall on you to, or rocks to, uh, 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 fall on you to believe it like it says it will be in the, in the time of Revelation. In the latter parts of Revelation it says that the, the, the rock people will, will not believe that they'll, they'll cry out for the rocks to fall on when they when God's judgment is on this earth. We want to serve God in this in, a, in grace and in truth like it now is the time of grace and we can serve him with, and, and, and know that his wrath one day his wrath will be on this earth and, 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 and uh, uh, COVID-19 will be a, be a, a, a hiccup to, to the great things that's going to come on this earth. And so we know and we have to be prepared and get ready for, for his coming and know he's the true wisdom heaven sent. And now he's calling us to just to believe, uh, just, uh, believe that he is and he is coming back again. And that's what it's about. And so right now, I'm going to pray this prayer with you, and I want you to open up your eye, your, your heart, your mind, your spirit, and receive it right now. Lord Jesus, call out, just like I'm speaking now, you can repeat it after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I want this word in me, Lord. I want to be, I, 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 I recognize that I'm a sinner and lost in this world and lost in my sins. And I want you to forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of my sins and wipe them clean. Make me clean as, 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 as snow and clean as, 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 as new wool, Lord. And, and allow my spirit, Lord God, and be filled with your spirit. Fill this body with your spirit and, with your, and your great love. And allow me to know that great love in my heart. And be able to spread it abroad to others. And give it to others as you have given it to me this day. As I give you honor and praise and glory and receive you in, 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 right now in my heart. Change me. Make me be able to be used for your glory. And I'll give you the honor, give you the praise and glory for all things. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen and amen. And you can, if you said that in, out of your heart today and believe it, because Jesus said it, 
Now you now believe it. Jesus said it, now believe it. He is a just God to forgive us of all our sins and forgive us of all our all our trespasses. And he and you say, now you need to get a good like I said, get a good Bible, start your Bible uh, uh, study if you need if you Get in a Bible study or start a Bible study. You can find great resources, like I say, to, to do all these things. And, and just give God the glory for all things. Be that witness that, that He's done great things for you. And so others will be drawn unto Him. Share all this here. Share this video. Um, and if you have comments, leave me a comment. I don't mind answering comments, even negative negative ones. I've had them too, you know, and stuff. But, you know, but God bless. Pardon me, like I say, for this fan and stuff. Sometimes it's, uh, it, uh, it's kind of open you up and stuff, but I don't mean to have the sniffles and stuff. But, you know, like I say, God bless. God bless it. And like I say, keep in prayer for this pastor and keep in prayer for, for India and the and the. And the and uh, for the healing of their nation, and for the healing that, that needs to go out and, and touch this, this pastor and, and, and his great friends. He just lost a great pastor friend over the last couple of weeks. He's, he's got family members that's, that's come down with COVID and stuff, and, and he's real concerned. But God bless, and, and, and I, I pray for that you know, can know him more today through this word and through, the, through his grave. Because uh, he said it now. Believe it. Jesus said it. Now believe it. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath and a, and a, and a wonderful time today. And, and, and a new, as you are a new creature in Christ, as if you said that prayer and believed it, and you can have that, and, you, and believe the same for your healing. You, all you have to do is believe it. Jesus said it, like He told them, by by your faith ye you are healed. They believed it, and when they believed it, they was healed. That's all it's about. It's about just believing. Believe you receive, and you shall receive. God bless, and thank you for being here, like I said, today at Measure Faith Word Center. And, and uh, um, God bless your, your week as, as you go out this week and be a part uh, of carrying this word out with you and, and, and share it with all. God bless.